I can feel my energy changing, more solemn, sad, just dreading, feeling of dread coming upon August 1st. Corinne was feisty um, from a little girl. She was like, she liked to be the center of attention and she just commanded a room. I mean, very early on. She loved, loved, loved to read. I still have all her books, at least most of them. And she was accepted into Morgan State University. And so she didn't stay the whole time. She, she was there for maybe a semester and that's when she uh, found she was pregnant with Cody. Then she chose to go into uh, cosmetology, which she really did well at. The most important thing was her becoming a mom. You could see it in every photo that she took with her children. You could see the love. She had had um, an emotional breakdown. There were some things that were going on in her life that she couldn't attend to on her own. At that time, I was a psych nurse. And I would taken her to my hospital. She wouldn't stop crying. She couldn't get herself together. I can remember her calling me, asking. She was crying on the phone, and I told her I was on my way to her. To say she really had a psych history, no, that's not what it was. She had an emotional break. So she hadn't had the medication since she found out she was pregnant with, with um, Carson, and she still hadn't had any in her system on the date of you know, her being killed. The death of Corinne Gaines sparked outrage nationwide. Baltimore County Police shot and killed the mother after a six-hour standoff. When I first got there, so I almost immediately walked up to them with, with the doctor available on the phone. I just, you know, told them, I said, this is her therapist, a psychiatrist. The officer took the phone out of my hand, cut the conversation off and said, we'll contact anybody when he needs to and then proceeded to take my phone. When I tell people that, they, they think I'm lying. They took my phone, they communicated with her as though they were me. They communicated with my family as though they were me. Because I didn't get my phone back until the 3rd of August. It was about eight family members there. They told me if they let me speak or communicate with her, it gives a finality to the situation. Like. People can just end it for themselves because they feel like, you know, they've communicated with one last person because she was by herself. Oh, I'm at peace. I'm in my home. I ain't trying to hurt nobody. Some of her family members had phones and they were like following her on Facebook Live. And it said the live stream was cut. So as I exited the building, and it was a little hill. I saw the commanding officer coming back up. And I said, what's going on? I said, where's my baby? And he just said, she's gone. And I said, what do you mean? You killed her? And I remember hitting the ground, but I recovered so quick because he said, my grandson, he said, your grandson was also shot too. I still have the scars on my knees till now. It's how hard I hit the concrete. But I sprung back up when he said that Cody had been injured. While all of that was going on, my family members, it was so, it was, it was, it was awful to see them. They were pulling up in their cars, literally falling out in the street because they couldn't believe that she was, you know, that she had been killed. If she was a white girl, I think, I think things would have been different. I think they would have handled her differently. You know, they would have, probably not taking her out to Burger King, but I don't think, she, I think she would have walked out. I think she would have walked out and she would still be here. It's a constant reopening of a wound for me with all these new cases. But on the flip side of that, I see a momentum in people getting justice and people being held accountable. Surely not enough, surely not enough. They can't give me the justice I want. And it, and it doesn't pertain to anything happening to that officer. Because I've said this once and I'll say it again. I wouldn't want his mother to ever feel what I'm feeling. But he needs to be held accountable.
He needs to have he needs to have something stripped. He actually got a promotion. He clearly broke policy when he sat through the wall blindly and killing my daughter and shooting my grandson. But at the end of the day, I just want more accountability. I want more accountability. You know, a set of, they couldn't put enough money to make me happy. But justice will never be justice for me because my child is gone. I don't, I, I don't see justice right now. I don't think I'll ever see it unless they, by some miracle they can say I can have my child back. My grandkids can have their mom back. My children can have their sister back. Her father can have her, his daughter back. That's a tall order. And they'll ne that's what my justice would look like.